Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. For today's video, I have some October favorites to share with you guys. And I mixed it up a little bit this time. I feel like I've started to do that like every other or every two, I guess, monthly favorites. Incorporating some more lifestyle items. So I have some home, some skincare, some beauty, all the things. So if you want to see, stay tuned. Never know what I want to start with because there's always like so many things and sometimes I try to break it up into categories, but I'm just gonna grab this one because it's just calling my name and this is one of the newer products that I found in the month of October. Super happy that I did. It's from Pacifica. This is their Big Wave Soft Hold and Volume Hairspray. I did a little like tutorial with this or I did a Beach Wave tutorial and used this um, in an IGTV on Instagram and I instantly fell in love with the scent of this. It's very coconutty it's vanilla it's just really really nice and something I would put in my hair every single day it's another product that I'm like if you were to make this as a perfume by all means like I would use this as well it just smells super nice it's a coconut sea salt and vanilla scent it is non aerosol this is meant to give you like that worn in surfer girl vibe and texture to your hair it's hundred percent vegan and cruelty free which I always feel like is a huge plus but I thought the packaging was so cute and the smell alone I'm like yes 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 I want to use this product and if you guys know me or have watched any of my other videos I really am picky about my styling products there's not a ton of hairspray type products styling products things like that that I am regularly using or putting into my hair um, especially when my hair is fresh just because my hair type and texture just tends to hold curl or whatever really well. Um, but this, I really like the feeling of, it does give hold, but it's not too crunchy or hard. And um, I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't leave my hair feeling like crispy or dirty the next day. So that I can definitely get behind. Another new hair product that I tried is this Moroccan oil leave-in conditioner. Um, I have really been a fan of their products for years and their hydrating conditioner is one of my favorites. So um, when I got this sent over to me in the mail, I was like a leave-in conditioner by all means, let me bust this out and try it. And it definitely lives up to the hype. And by hype, I mean my own that I had in my head. This actually isn't a product that I feel like I've seen or heard a lot about, but here I am today to tell you that it is great and I absolutely would recommend it. It says it's for all hair types. It says it instantly detangles, which is great. I can attest to that. It made my hair just super soft and silky and nice, but it didn't weigh it down. It was not too heavy at all. And I felt like it really helped to lock in some moisture too. And then it just has a really nice scent to it. It's pretty lightweight. I don't feel like it's too heavy at all in terms of the scent, not super fragrancy. It does say that this helps uh, protect against damage or breakage, which is important. And you would just spritz this in your hair while it's damp. And then you could go about adding any other styling products that you do and blow dry it or air dry it, what have you and then you're good to go. Have a hair accessory that I love and wanted to share and haven't been able to put down, but I hope it's not underwhelming. Um, it is this little tortoise shell claw clip. This has been so handy for me and just really cute. I always get excited over little finds like these and this was in a two pack on Amazon and super affordable. I think it was like 12 bucks or something. It might've been even less than that, uh, but it had this light sort of tortoise shell looking one and then it has a darker, more brown color. But I love clipping my hair back and like just enjoy finding other ways to wear my hair and I feel like these have been really trendy. So I finally grabbed this and I'm super happy that I did. I've now resorted to wearing my hair like clipped back in this little like 90s looking front pieces out um, sort of style, uh, probably four or five days out of the week. <laughs> Um, it's just really convenient when I don't feel like doing anything and looks like somewhat cute So I'm into it. If you've been on the fence about buying something like this, then you should definitely check out the description I will link these they're so affordable and they're cute and Easy way to switch up the hair going into some makeup products um, I've had this for a while, but I've only just now started to really come around to using it and it's the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty light wand um, This is basically like a liquid highlight 
and you open it up and it has this little puff on the end um, and you would twist it up so it can stay open or close and then you can squeeze the product out and just like dab it on your skin um, to highlight. I usually take like a tapered duo fiber brush to blend it out, um, but this works really, really well layered on top of powder, which I probably sound like a broken record, but that is important to me because I do set my face. I like adding in the occasional cream or liquid product for some glow. So this is another one that I've just been super happy with and works really well for me. And this is in the shade Spotlight. I really, truly love the color of this one. I don't feel like it pulls too cool or too warm. It just matches my skin tone really well and gives like a natural glow. This would be perfect for those like lighter, more natural makeup days. Um, if you just want to give your skin some glow, this would be beautiful on top. Or if you want to build it up a little or wear it with the full face makeup like I am, like it's perfect for all of that. Um, I'm dying to get my hands on. They apparently have this, but in a bronzer form and I am like dying to try that. I think it would be so pretty. And then I have one of my all time favorite lip liners, which I have to believe I've probably talked about and shared with you guys, but I just restocked on this. So I had to share it because I've been using it all month long. Um, so this is by L'Oreal and this is in the shade Beyond Pink. It is like the perfect pinky nude in my opinion. I love that it is a twist up. Um, this is so affordable, it is under $10. I am regularly repurchasing this. This is an item for me that once I run out, like I'm immediately going to Target or whatever drugstore and grabbing this, ordering it online. I like have to have it. It is so perfect for every day and it wears really well. It is super comfortable. It's great for travel because you don't even have to like think twice about having a sharpener. Going off of lips, I wanted to share this Sugar Lip Polish Exfoliant. This is by Fresh Beauty. They have such good products. I, I have like a whole collection. Oh, that just brings me so much joy in life, um, but with how dry it's been getting, my lips just are chronically chapped, unfortunately. It's just the nature of life, I suppose, but um, I definitely have to exfoliate. I love this little product. It's really convenient, easy to use. It smells nice, it gets off all the dead skin, and I usually use this at nighttime, but if I'm getting ready to film or shoot a picture or whatever, um, and my lips are just dry and cracking and flaky, then I grab this and I just run to the bathroom and use it really quick. I usually just use my finger to get a little bit out. I put it on my lips. Sometimes I'll like gently um, exfoliate or rub, rub it in with my finger, but otherwise I usually just rub my lips together um, and that does the trick. And then I just pat it off gently um, with a makeup remover cloth or a washcloth, whichever I have available and I'm good to go. And I coat it with some sort of like lip balm or mask and mm, this just brings my lips back to life. I love, love, love this. And I also have another fresh beauty favorite for the month and it is this Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. This is one of my favorite moisturizers. It feels so luxe. I love rose scented everything, anything. I think it smells amazing. If you don't like rose scented, you probably won't like this. It's such a like luxe, in nice container, it's glass. This is a super rich, super creamy moisturizer. It's really gonna lock in hydration. It feels so good on your face. If you have an ounce of like dry skin or just feeling like you need to be brought back to life, this is what I resort to. I love this so much. I will use it day and night, um, but if you don't want like a heavier moisturizer, then I would say maybe don't use this during the day, but at nighttime, mm, this is so nice. I love, love, love using this. And then I have two other like moisturizing type body-ish products. As soon as the cold weather hits, like let's be real, my skin starts getting dry and I'm like, Give me, give me all the things, the moisture, I need to lock in the youth, the hydration. I don't want it to escape from my body. So first one I will share is this H2O Plus Detox White Clay Hand Cream. 
Um, this has a really nice texture and formula and feel to it. I love the way this feels on my hands. And this is one of those products that when I put it on, I feel like I've dipped my hand into the fountain of youth and rewinding the age by years. Um, I mean, I don't have like old people looking hands. I don't know. I just feel like they could be cuter, like maybe a little bit less wrinkly. Um, but this really seems to just hydrate them and it feels really nice. I'm weird about hand creams. I don't like anything that is too sticky at all for obvious reasons. Like no, I don't think anyone enjoys that feeling, um, but this isn't at all. It's just super creamy and hydrating, but it doesn't leave like any sticky residue left over. Um, I will be totally honest. This is not a scent that I would typically go for or grab and it's fine. It's not my favorite. It smells very, um, herbal and spa-like, kind of lemongrassy, I would say. It says the scent is white tea and ginger, and I like white tea, so I feel like it's definitely the ginger that is throwing me off a little um, and giving that herbal kind of smell to it. So yeah, I just wanna be transparent. I love the formula, I love the texture of this. The scent is not my fave. Um, but I don't hate it and for how it feels on my hands and leaves my hands feeling, I'll continue to use this. So the next moisture or hydrating themed product that I have is from Elizabeth Arden and this is their eight hour cream. I was not sure what to expect when I went to open this. I've had it for a little bit. I got it in PR some time ago, but I'm someone who, um, I don't like 8 million of the same thing opened at once. So it was finally time. I'm like, let's take a look and explore this more and see what the heck this even is. Um, so obviously it says cream. I was thinking like a cream, but this has more of a Vaseline texture um, in my opinion, as you can see. It's got like an orange tint and it does by no means look that way when you put it on. But um, yeah, this is definitely more of like a super intense um, luxe, Vaseline based type of product, if that makes sense. So basically it says this product is meant to moisturize and protect anytime, any way you choose. It says you can shape brows, revitalize shine, soothe dry hands and smooth cuticles and nails. And it says it treats symptoms of chapping, peeling or flaking due to minor burns, sunburn, windburn, scrapes, abrasions or cracked lips. So I've mainly been using this on my hands, which I actually like, but if I um, was doing things throughout the day, this is probably not a product that I want to slather all over my hands just because it does have that slight Vaseline texture to it. So it is gonna be stickier than like the hand cream that I was just talking about. Um, it is super hydrating and moisturizing though. So if you do have really dry skin, this does feel very nice. I love this on my lips at night. I use the fresh sugar polish that I was talking about earlier. And then I add this on top and then I wake up the next morning and my lips are really hydrated and moisturized and feel so nice. So it definitely does a really nice job of locking in moisture if you have super dry skin. So I thought I'd share my go-to nail colors that I've been using because I have been doing my nails at home since March. So obviously for quite some time, but uh, for my dip manicures, I wanted to switch it up and use another color. So I found this on a really cute nail website, which I will link below. Um, this used to be one of my favorite OPI shades. So when I found that I could get this giant dip powder container for like 20 bucks. I was sold. I was like, I have to have this. Um, it's the shade, let me buy you a drink. And please don't look too closely because I'm not a nail expert, um, but it is the absolute most perfect blush pale pink. So I cannot recommend this enough. Um, super easy to use and it's a giant container. I don't anticipate I will run out of this anytime soon. And then for my toes, I'm clearly a creature of habit. I like my pinks, but I tend to go brighter on my toes. But I saw this on like Pinterest or Instagram and I just fell in love with this color and then found it on Target. So added to cart immediately and have been using it since. This polish is by Essie. It's in the shade 150, which is hot to trot, but of course they spell it fancy. So I will put the exact link and name below. Um, I just love this bright pink. Just really love the shade of pink. It looks good on my skin tone. It doesn't pull too like bubble gum because I, I hate that. 
um, but it wasn't too pale either. I don't know, it just had like a little bit of something. I felt like was a good balance, and I usually like to contrast my nails and my toes a little bit, so I don't know, I just liked, I like these two together, and this is what I've been wearing all month long. And obviously with this being Essie, it is super affordable. I'm pretty sure this was under $10. And I usually do my toes like every three to four weeks at home, so not running out of this anytime soon. Next, I'm gonna move in to the home stuff, and the first thing I'm gonna start with is glassware. I had been dying to get these wine glasses. Um, they're the square ones. I'm sure you guys have seen them. They're super popular. I have loved them for the longest time, but um, very much a want, not a need. So I just hadn't pulled the trigger. I have like 25 stemless wine glasses downstairs and Chris hates wine glasses with a stem. I don't know what his problem is. I love them. Um, I just think like they're fun and they're cute and they're fancy and Sometimes I just wanna drink my wine out of glass that has a stem. This was a slightly tipsy purchase. We were having drinks with friends and I was telling them as we were drinking wine about how cute these glasses were that I had been wanting. Pulled them up on Amazon because they were in my like save for later um, section and they were actually on sale. So it was two of them for $16. And at that moment I was like, oh duh, I'm buying them. They're prime, they're gonna come the next day. So I went ahead and bought them. Best decision ever. I love these, they are so cute. Um, I've done a mixture of hand washing and putting them in the dishwasher and they've been fine either way. There's two options when you go to buy these. So there's a red wine option, which is bigger, and then there's a white wine option. I bought the red wine option. We are usually drinking red wine at home anyways, and um, I just liked the oversized, extra extravagant sort of look. So um, I'm very happy with these. I think they're super cute cute um, obviously this is like a 16 ounce glass or something there is a lot of room in here um, so I definitely don't fill this up when I'm drinking wine I think I usually stop like down here I just love the look of these they are super cute and I could not recommend them enough my next home find is a candle that was so random I just was looking for something that kind of fit the aesthetic that we had going on downstairs in our living room. And I found this and I thought it was perfect. I loved the black and white like copper top that it had. Overall, I just thought the look was really cute. It was a ginormous candle and based on the scent, it's vanilla birch. I thought I would really like it and I was so right. It smells amazing. Um, it's a soy wax blend candle and it was poured in the US. As you can see, it's been getting a lot of love from us. Um, it's been part of my morning routine. I get my coffee, I get my blankies, and I set up and I light my candle and it smells so good and it just travels throughout the whole house. Best part of this, this was a Target find, um, if I did not already mention that, and it was like $12, so really affordable, which I appreciated. And I did pick up one other scent, um, which is Cranberry Patchouli, but I haven't burned that one yet, so I will let you guys know. But this scent to me is just super homey. It's got vanilla, so it's a little sweet, but it still has like a very clean smell to it. I don't know, it just smells like home and I love it. I'm obsessed. And then the last thing that I have to share, which is one of my favorite home Amazon purchases ever, is this leopard throw blanket. Um, I love that it was neutral. It just looked super plush and soft and it is. Um, they have a bunch of different sizes and this thing is huge, so I'm definitely not gonna be able to show you guys all of it, um, but I went with the twin size. Um, I was going to do the queen, but this is plenty. It is more than enough, but it is so soft. I love the color. And then um, it has the leopard on this side and then it has this little softness on the other side. It is so cuddly and soft and it matches really well with our furniture. So I've just been like draping this over the couch and leaving it down there so I can fight with Chris over who gets this blanket. We have like an old blanket down there. So I ended up getting a second new throw blanket. 
So we would each have something that is a little bit more fluffier. Um, but I've pretty much claimed this one and it is so freaking soft and was like 30 bucks. But that concludes another round of monthly favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I couldn't put down throughout October. As always, leave me a comment and let me know what you loved this month, any of your current beauty favorites and recommendations that I can check out for this coming month. I'm like, what month are we about to go in? November. But thank you guys again for watching and tuning back in. If you are new, I definitely hope you'll stick around and stay. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the bell so you get notifications on all my new videos. But love you guys and until next time.